All right, well, howdy, howdy, folks. Welcome to the Galloping Goat Show. I'm your host, Cowboy Max. And on my show, my goats and I travel around the community looking for the goats. Now, I don't mean the bad type of goats. I mean the G-O-A-T's, the greatest of all times. The people that are right out there in our backyard, they're doing great things for us, for our neighbors, and our community. And I got one of those goats on the show today. We've got Braden Mackey, and this dude is awesome. He's doing some great stuff. Braden, how you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing great, man. Thank you for being on the show. I'm excited to talk about you and what you do because you are doing something great out there that is near and dear to my heart, which is cookies, man. I <laughs> love cookies. So talk to me, Braden. Tell me. I see you've got this great sign right there, the, the Albuquerque cookie, dude. I need to know the story. Tell me about what you do and how you, you, you started doing this. So basically how it got started was, so this cookie recipe is a family recipe that uh, my mom used to always make these cookies around like the holidays and for Christmas and stuff like that. And um, my freshman year in high school, I was on the basketball team playing uh, for Cleveland. And each week our team got together for a team dinner and each of us had to bring some kind of food item to the dinner to contribute. And I decided to bring cookies one day, uh, my family recipe and everybody loved them. So I got the idea and about a week later, I started taking them to school just in little Tupperwares and then I just sold them for a dollar a piece at school to my friends. And uh, even the teachers, some of them got in on it too. And uh, that's how it kind of got started, just selling them at school. And then that summer I created my logo right there and uh, I got an email address and just started taking orders and then I started and delivering out into Rear Rancho. That is fantastic. So take me back to when you first decided, okay, now I know these people who love the cookies. I love mom's cookies. You know, you're, you're, you're thinking that and uh, you take your first Tupperware box to school and you're like, hey, hey, you know, come buy my cookies. Where, did you have people just kind of like getting in line like, hey, I got to get some of, of the Brain's cookies or how did, how did it go? So it, it did start off kind of slow, which I kind of expected at first. Um, you know, every once in a while, some, some people would just come up to me in the middle of class and just grab some, say, hey, I want one or two. And then people started to figure out I would bring them every day and it would become a routine. And then more and more people would get in on it and I would start running out sooner and sooner. So I'd have to bring more and more cookies to school. And then eventually it kind of took off at school. People were lining up in the hallways. And I was getting crowded all over when I was trying to just walk to my classes. And <laughs> so they, they just knew you. They, they see you. They see the cookie dude. They're like, I got that guy's got the goods right there. Yeah. And um, the funny thing is, is I'm a really shy person. And I've grown a lot since I've started this business. And this is one way that's helped me. So when I first started bringing my cookies to school that freshman year, uh, I didn't really have many friends. I was kind of new to the school and nobody really knew who I was. So that's how I kind of got my name people would just call me the cookie dude. Uh, there you go. That's kind of how it started. That is fantastic. Well, it's, it's super fitting. And I mean, what, what brings people together better than cookies? I'm telling you, man, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we're talking a family recipe, your mom's recipe. Was it just a, was it a certain flavor? Because I know you don't just cook one, one flavor of cookie. It just started off as chocolate chip. That was the only thing I used to make. And then um, I kind of expanded into white chocolate and putting macadamia nuts in them. And then I started, I found some M&Ms at uh, Walmart and just started experimenting with new new flavors. And now I have over 10 flavors now. 10 flavors of cookies. Now I know you, especially right now, we're, we're all in quarantine, you're not at school, uh, not going to school. I know that you have a clientele that's outside of your uh, of the folks there, your, your schoolmates there at, at the high school. So, what does your uh, your customer base look like out in the community? Is it uh, uh, is it businesses? Is it just moms and dads? Is, you know, what, who are you selling the cookies to? So, actually, about seventy percent of my business just comes from uh, regular families that are just ordering for everyday kind of events. And then I do have I do have some clientels that are business professionals that do order for me sometimes. For example, I have a lawyer that orders for me about uh, once a month. She gets an order and she gives them out for her clients. So yeah, but mostly it's just people like you, just families. Wow, that's fantastic. Do you uh, is there do you have like a 
a minimum cookie order? Can I just order one or got, I got to get two dozen? What, what, what is your, uh, your minimum? Well, normally the minimum would be around six cookies and I can put in a little uh, plastic package and that'll only cost you around $5. Nice. Very cool. So uh, you're, you're telling me that you, you, deliver, you deliver those cookies as well out in the community. Yes, I do. That is fantastic. What do you think is your uh, most popular of cookies? My most popular cookie, it's always between the M&M and the chocolate chip. People are just really big fans of the chocolates and the cookies, I guess. I saw on uh, one of your flyers, or uh, actually on your Instagram page, I saw some red velvet cookies. Is that a special holiday treat or do you do that whenever? Yeah, I did a, I did a special red velvet cookie for uh, Valentine's Day. I posted that about a week before Valentine's Day to try to get some hype for uh, that holiday. And all I did was, it's the same exact flavor, and I just put some red uh, food coloring in the dough, and I just made it red. Wow, that's fantastic. That's, I, like the, I like the chef, you know, how, how you get those things done. And, and as, you know, red velvet to me was, it's, is it just a food coloring thing? Is that where you It's just a food coloring, yeah. No red, flavor, just chocolate with, with food coloring. Yep. I love it. Man, that's fantastic. Okay, so um, tell me about the people that are out there that are buying cookies. Um, what, is, what do you feel like is the most common quantity of cookies that are being purchased? Most common, my most common order just for uh, like normal people just wanting cookies for whatever reason, I'd say it's between like two and four dozen. That's okay. Um, yeah. Two and four dozen. So I'm envisioning you, let's, let's, let's take it back a little bit, pre-quarantine time when you're in school and you're, I'm, I'm going to assume, and you correct me if I'm wrong, I'm going to assume you've got your, your daily customers at school that you, you pretty well are planning for all the time. Then you've got people placing orders out there. Uh, and so what does their typical day look like? Are you cooking cookies every night? Are you baking every night? Uh, before this quarantine, definitely was, yeah. Okay. Mostly every day, if not four to five times a week. How many, how many cookies are you baking at a time? At a time, I can bake around, uh, on, a, on a good day, around five dozen a night. Five dozen a night. Wow. And then you're, it's not like you've got a shelf back there in the, in the pantry or something that you've taken from mom and said, hey, these, you're, you're pretty well baking and getting them out. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. You just, I switch out the trays quick and I got to clean it all up and the whole process. Turning and burning, man. You just, uh, so are you and your mom throwing elbows with each other at night, you know, or, 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 or your dad or somebody, whoever's cooking dinner and you're trying to cook cookies, are you guys fighting for, for oven space? You know, sometimes it does kind of get in the way, especially when I get home from a, when, when I, when we were still in school, I'd get home from school and I'd want to take a little break and just relax for a little bit. And sometimes I'd wait a little too long and they'd already be starting with dinner and then I need to get a cookie order in. And then we're all just hovering around the kitchen, just all in each other's way. <laughs> Brayden, how old are you? I'm 17. You're 17. You're a senior in high school. You've been doing this since you were a freshman. Did you, uh, I mean, you're, you're a young entrepreneur is what you are. I mean, you're a businessman. You're doing your thing. You're selling your product. Did you know going into high school, you're like, hey, you know, I'm going to start a business when I'm in high school. Was that on your mind? Uh, definitely not. No, I, I was just going into high school, just trying to, just trying to fit in, you know, and then this kind of got brought up and I kind of found my little niche in high school. So that is, that is awesome. That's an ex exciting story. I'm looking at a flyer that I have here and I see this thing. It's called the sweet acts of kindness. Can you tell me about that? So my sweet acts of kindness movement I started that uh, last February in 2019. And basically my goal was to just go out into the community and uh, thank everyday people for everything they do for our community. Uh, for example, I started off my movement uh, going into the Rio Rancho Police Department and I baked them, I think it was five dozen cookies for them and I gave them to them for free, uh, free of charge. And uh, I got to tour their headquarters at, for Rio Rancho Police Department. And um, I got to meet the chief of police and a lot of great officers and basically just thank them for the service they do for our community. 
That is that is awesome. Do you feel? I also was looking on here that people can uh, can order cookies through you and essentially have you uh, as a donation. Have you deliver them to first responders? Is that right? Right. So that was another part of the Sweet Acts of Kindness movement. Uh, I went out to the community and I tried to set an example. And then through that, I wanted people to get in on the movement too, so they could. Um, order cookies for me and then they can write a special message and I can actually Photoshop a message and print it on top of the box and as a label on the box and then uh, I would go out and deliver to whoever they wanted uh, so if somebody ordered and they wanted me to go deliver to like their grandma or their parents or somebody for a surprise I would just show up to their house and uh, just surprise them with cookies that's fantastic. Have you felt like during this uh, quarantine time, have, has, you, has it hurt your business or are you getting some of these, uh, especially the sweet act of kindness uh, type of momentum? Um, I, it did die down a little bit at the very beginning just because I was also trying to transition into this new kind of lifestyle. So I wasn't really posting. I wasn't advertising on Facebook or my Instagram just because I was, it was a weird time for me. But um, this past week, it has kind of picked up a little bit more. Brayden, do you feel like um, going forward, um, you know, obviously you're a senior, you'll be graduating, may not have the big graduation ceremony we'd hope for type of thing, but you're going to be graduating from high school. Are you going to college? Are you going? To, uh, what are you going to do after high school? Yeah, my plan is to go down to New Mexico State University, and I'm going to study business operations and marketing. Business operations marketing. So it sounds to me that you've got to set yourself on the path of, of entrepreneurship and, and business. Do you feel like you're going to be uh, the cookie dude for a long, long time? Or are you going to, do you feel like you're going to turn this into some other type of business? Is it, is it going to be in the, in the food industry? What, what are your, your aspirations? Well, I, I don't think I'm necessarily, um, I don't think I was necessarily aspiring to be in the food business, but this is kind of just where it's brought me. But I definitely think I could um, expand this more and more as I go on through college and eventually graduate college, hopefully. Um, I do think it has the potential to grow into something way bigger than it is now. But um, if that's not the plan that is set out for me, then um, I do plan on still being in business and maybe opening up a different type of business. Is this, are you really enjoy what you're doing? Yeah, I do enjoy this. It's, it's been a great journey. I got to meet a lot of great people along the way and it's really helped me grow as a person. I think I, I, like I said, that freshman year, I was a super shy person. And, um, ever since then, my just overall like demeanor and everything about me has changed a lot. Like my public speaking has gotten so much better since I've started this whole thing. I, and I couldn't, I couldn't have ever thought it would um, turn out this way. You know, public speaking is a, is a tough thing. I mean, it's uh, yeah. for, for, for grown people, for, I mean, you're a senior in high school. Um, it is a hard deal to get up in front of people and talk. And I know that you're going to events and people are asking you to come and, and speak and you're going to, to, uh, you know, the, the police department and the fire department and doing those things. And I got to really commend you for, for what you've done, you know, with your business and not only with your business, how you've used that to kind of help you grow personally, but what a, what a great valuable experience this has been for you. Is that the way you feel? Yeah, that is how I feel. Um, I, like I said, I never would have thought that I would become the person I am today just because of this, just because of cookies, you know? What other things do you do? I mean, it sounds like, boy, especially when school's going on, you're a busy dude. You, you know, you're going to school, you're, you're doing your studies, you're getting home and you're going to work, you know, you're, meaning you're, you're cooking, you're, you're baking these cookies, and I know you've got another job going on. Um, what, what other things do you do as a hobby? What, what kind of things do you enjoy? So I played basketball for Cleveland for three years. Uh, that took up a lot of time. During basketball season, it was always hard to – I uh, managed my time between school and cookies. I come home tired from practice and have to make a big order. And then um, I also did cross country for two years. And then uh, my senior year, I decided not to play basketball and I actually joined the bowling team. Okay. That was, uh, that was pretty fun. Fantastic. And you are a busy fella. I mean, it's not like you're just sitting around playing video games and, uh, <laughs> and, and, and vegging out. You're, you're, you're going. 
Yeah, thank you. Yeah, is it, do you enjoy being busy like that? Uh, it is, it, it keeps me busy, I like that. I would rather be doing something like that than just sitting around and hanging out all day. There you go. All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty stuff. How do we get your cookies? So you can order on my, you can either order on my Facebook, uh, email address or my Instagram page. You can just DM me on either of those platforms and uh, tell me what kind of cookie you want, how many you want, and then um, you can give me your address or we can meet somewhere. I'm always um, flexible with things like that. And then um, I always deliver for free within um, the Rio Rancho area. If I have to go like far into Albuquerque, sometimes I do charge a small delivery fee. Okay. Now tell me your, uh, your Instagram and your Facebook. Um uh, addresses uh my instagram is just at the abq cookie dude and i believe my facebook is just called the abq cookie dude abq cookie dude that's how we find you and you've got a website named the same thing the abq cookie dude uh, i actually don't have a website at this moment but um i do have a domain name um saved i'm currently still paying okay. for that monthly but I haven't de developed an actual website yet. Well, that was smart to get the domain. There you go. Now you're being a lot of forethought there. So Facebook and Instagram, and when, we're, when we've got the craving and the hankering for cookies, that's where we go. It's your Facebook and your Instagram page, right? That's right. That's fantastic. All right, great. Thank you so much for being on the show. I really dig what you're doing. I respect it. I think that uh, you've done a great job. Proud of you for that. You're, uh, you're uh, definitely an inspiration for – for young people, for sure, and a lot of those us older folks that are that are trying to do some business stuff, hey, we should, we can learn a thing or two from you. I think. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that, and I'm happy to be on here. So. All right. Well, fantastic. All right. Well, thank you, Braden, and folks, if you're out there watching and listening, uh, it's been a pleasure to be here with Braden Mackey with the ABQ Cookie Dude. So if you're just craving cookies like I do all the time, go to his Facebook or Instagram page. Order some cookies. He's going to bring it out to you. It's going to be great. Now, this is the Galloping Goat Show. Until next time, go out there and be the goat.